Okay, so I took his water hose and I just kept rinsing this tank out, holding it upside down and wishing around until I got most of the loose skelly stuff out that was floating around. Now you can take some nuts and bolts or whatever and put it in there and shake it around if you want to. I'm going to try a different product that I normally do, so I'm going to try it without it and just see what happens. I could always do that later if I have to. <clears throat> we want to get the loosest stuff out first. Water hose is your friend. You can wash a lot of stuff out with water hose. Then I think what I'm going to do is um, I got this stuff called um, Endo Rust, I think it is. But I'm going to try to maybe just duct tape over the bottom and put that in there and then set this down in a bucket or something. That way if it does leak, it just leaks into the bucket. And um, after I get it clean, I'll pass the holes up before I put the line or the, yeah, the liner in it. So now that I got that, I think the next step is to go get the bottom dried off and we're going to put some duct tape over it. You could go ahead and sand the bottom. Maybe I'll do that, sand it off a little bit, clean it up. And then we'll put duct tape so over it. Here's what I ended up with. Um, big holes there, there. Everywhere there's holes. Um, yeah. But I think we'll be okay. Um, I tried to find something that would fit in there real close. I'd like to be able to submerge the whole thing, but that's not going to happen. I thought about taking duct tape and taping this whole bottom off. Um, and then just filling this thing up and letting it set. But I think it'd just be as easy to dump it right in there with it. And I'll just flip this over some. Now, I didn't even read. This is um, Vapo Rust. And what we're going to do is just pour it in a bucket. And I'm just going to let this thing soak for several hours and then we're going to come back and look at it. Now this stuff they say you can reuse it. So we'll soak it. I figure it ain't going to hurt the outside of the tank. And I wish it was... Well, if you wouldn't spill it all over the floor it might be higher in the level. But anyway... I'm not sure if that seems halfway or not. Um, I guess we'll just have to work with it. If I have to, I'll stick a couple things of something metal around it, just take up room. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this soak. And um, I'll come back in four or five hours and check on it. And um, every time I walk by, I'll just swish it around that way. see what happens. I've never used this product before so I usually do vinegar or I do muriatic acid but we're gonna try it. Never known till you try. Glad to see I don't have no leaks in the bottom. The ones where the outlet is but the rest of them I don't think they're supposed to be there. You guys probably can't see down in there. They soaked with that evapo rust, and it says four hours. And then if you look on their website, it says overnight. But I was like three days into it, and I still didn't like the looks of the inside of the tank. So I took 50-50 muriatic acid and water, um, duct taped the whole bottom up, put it in there and let it set for 15, 20 minutes, swishing it around really good. And then I got rid of that and went back to the evapo rust. And it looks pretty good inside. It actually looks like clean metal inside, but um, so I guess that stuff does work. But if it's really a nasty tank, you may have to start out with something stronger. Now I took, you can see there's like a shiny coating on this. I took the seal all. Okay. And I just coated the whole tank and let it dry on the bottom. And my thoughts there was I was going to fill up a lot of the pits and a lot of the little holes. 
because this thing just looked like a shower head. But I think I got the big ones filled up. And then this has got internal threads, so I put this piece of eighth inch pipe in there. And I'll let that be as a drain tube, but I can just take and duct tape or black tape over the end, and that'll hold my liquid in. And then I'll put this in. Like I say, this is I've used this on the other tank too. It's probably a half a can maybe. So I'll probably dump all of this in there and swish it around. How much you dump in is I guess is how well you feel you can coat the tank and get it all. But you gotta remember you gotta drain out any of the excess. So that's why I didn't want to put a pipe plug or something in here. I just wanted to have something in there to protect the thread so they didn't get full of it. And then if it drains down this tube, it's no big deal when I get done. No, I don't. I took a piece of black tape, went over it, over the edge, and then I just wrapped it around. I like to fold the last piece over, make sure I have an easy way to get rid of it if I want to take it off of there. That ought to hold enough of it in. To just get the lid off of this the second time is starting to be a challenge here. Okay, I finally got the lid off. Destroyed the can. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it all in there. You say it all depends on how much you think you need to coat the tank. Okay, I thought it'd be neat to put some plastic. Usually I just take a piece of duct tape. But now we're just gonna coat this tank. You want to turn it on the side and make sure all the stuff runs to the side and it's not like real fast you gotta just keep doing it make sure you got the whole inside of the tank coated you just want to keep turning it once the stuff starts to set up a little bit um, you're going to want to start draining it because you don't need a whole bunch of extra puddle in there you just need enough to coat everything this is thin enough though, it does seem to coat pretty good. So I don't keep turning this, and um, then we'll get back with you. I don't know if you can see or not, but you can kind of see the stuff running out of the tank here. And some on the sides in a few places. Those are the holes I didn't get sealed up, so it's running through there. Um, it's got to make sure that you keep coating them so it's thick enough that it seals them. So you can see where some of the stuff ran through the holes I'd missed with the seal off. That little dent right there, I should have pushed that a little flatter. I should have known better. But now I can unscrew that pipe and my threads ought to be clean. And, I don't know if you'll see it or not. see but it turned out okay now to be honest with you I had put that stuff back in the can and um, oh man it's been a year and to be honest with you it probably could have froze a couple times too out here but that first I did didn't pan out so well it didn't stick to anything I thought it was that seal off first that it wasn't sticking to, but when I did it the second time, um, it worked out well. I would bought a brand new can of it and I had here, so I just used a brand new can and um, it seemed to work out fine. So after all that with the shower head looking thing, this is only about 24 hours and I think they tell you to wait. Um, Oh, I don't know, three or four days, I think it is, maybe with the gas. You have to read the can to be sure, but anyway, waiting a little extra long ain't going to hurt, especially when it's cool like it is here. Now, what I'm going to do, I think, is take this pipe out of there, and I'll put a pipe plug in there. That's eighth-inch pipe fitting, by the way. But anyway, I'll um, put a plug in there, and then maybe we'll fill this up with water. And let it set for a little bit and just see if we get any leaks. Okay, so it wants to keep drizzling on me today, but <clears throat> you can see it's full of water. And 
Oh. You can see it's not running out nowhere. So I was trying to rub a paper towel on it a little bit ago and um, the paper towel comes up dry on the bottom so it's been sitting there holding water so I suspect we're going to be okay. What I'm going to do now is just let the water back out here in a minute and um, leave that tank to sit on the shelf to dry. I may hit it with a little bit of paint, I don't know. The whole tractor is going to get painted later so. I might just hit it with enough paint to keep it from rusting and then see what happens. But anyway, you can fix even what looks like a really bad shower-headed tank with a, lots of holes in it with that tank liner. I know you probably can't see in there, but that's kind of like a, I don't know, almost looks plastic lined inside before I started. If I rinsed that all out really good, and um, degreased it, put a little soap in there and washed it out. But I put that liner in here to see what it'd do. Cause this saw had been broke in the front before and I JB welded it. Actually I put a little piece of metal over it and then JB welded it. And it seemed to work for a long time. Now you can see there where it ran out the bottom. So hopefully it'll fix my old saw. I need to rebuild the carburetor. The old Lombard. Pretty good saw. Loud. Loud as all heck. But pretty nice saw. Hopefully that fixes it. <laughs> 